Thank you for coming by and watching this video. If you enjoy this video or feel you've benefited from it, consider going to patreon.com forward slash newbiehack and support these efforts. You'll have access to 20 of my latest videos that hasn't been published on YouTube yet. Now we have our circuit set up, we can test the timing diagram and the code that we have to create. I plan on setting the, the read write and the register select. The register select is going to set between either writing a character or writing a command. So we're going to set the read write, change the reg register select, we'll wait the 49 seconds, and then turn on the enable. This will be in one function that I think would be most appropriate to put in that function. We already have an output byte function. So all we really need to do is add the turn off the enable after 80 nanoseconds in that same function. So we can bring those together. So this one will be setting the read write, setting for read or write, or, or and, register select for character or command. And then in the next one, We'll be outputting the byte and simply turning off the enable. You know, I'm going to also add this 10 nanoseconds in this function as well. So we definitely need to wait 10 nanoseconds until we do any more modification with the, the data pins or modifying the read, write, and register select. At first, we're just going to have this stuff running really slow so we can see it on the LEDs. And then I'm inclined to hook it up to the LCD to output some commands and characters and see if it works with just a, just a slightly faster speed because all of these numbers are, are minimums. And I'm not really sure what will happen. There's no maximums in here, so I'm not really sure what will happen. Well, with the exception of maximum being changing from a high end and to a low or from a low to a high. But of course we have no control of that right now. So all of these are actually minimums and we could wait as long as we want until we have the next thing happen. We can change our read write and change the register select and then wait. We can wait a second if we wanted to and then turn on the enable and do the same thing for each, each one. Output a byte, wait another second, turn off the enable, wait another second, modify the, the data pins and start the process all over again. And that way we may not have to read it to check to see if the LCD is busy. And we'll go faster and faster to see how, at what point it breaks, if we get to that point. But because we haven't gotten into the timing section of the microcontroller, we really can only use sort of a, just a time delay of our own choosing. So let's create a time delay within the header file. Put it up at the top. I'm gonna to call it a non-exact time delay. And we'll, pass in an integer of time delay. And we'll just do a loop. So all we're doing is, is we're creating a, a for loop with the actual time delay number here and the integer can go pretty high. So hopefully we'll have it high enough that we can pause it to a certain extent. I'm not sure, I don't think we have to put anything in here, but we can later on if we have to. Okay, so let's go to the, when we're sending in the character, let's go ahead and put in the um, turning off the enable. So all we have to do in this case is access the enable port and then access the enable pin. And we're just going to put a zero in here because we programmed it so if the bit state is a one, it will set it. And if the bit state is zero, it will reset it. We need a time delay here, so let's go ahead and uh, I need to save it, I think, before I do that. Did I call it? Oh, non-exact. You know what? Since I automatically thought it would be not exact, I'm gonna go ahead and put a not exact time delay. There we go. And we'll just put 10,000 in here for now. And what we're doing is we're putting in this time delay here we could put like 80,000 just to see what happens. Could be, may, might be too slow, but let's do that anyway. So we have a, a proper proportion. 
If it's too slow, then we can knock it down to 8,000 or some fraction thereof. Okay, so we are outputting the byte. We're waiting some time and we're turning off the enable. So let's create the function that sets the read write and our register select. Hmm, I think to make it easier, I'm gonna make it uh, set to write. I'll make a just a very simple function for that and then I'm gonna say void command mode and there's a thousand ways to do this. I could actually have something brought in here that says command mode that's defined as a specific setting, or I can have simple functions that just specify what you need to do. I'm, I kind of want to do it this way, but we can try both ways. We'll see what happens. Command mode and let's see, void character mode. I think we want to make it set to read as well. Let's see how how many things we're going to be duplicating here so we can make the code more efficient later. So we have to first let's set the read write and the register select correctly. So command mode is simply setting the register select to zero. So let's do that. Okay, so LCD. First one is the port, so let's go with the register select port, and then the LC register select pin, and we're gonna pass a zero to it. This is command mode. Character mode, we're sending a one to that bit. For the read write, we should already know that. To write, we send a, a zero, or we send a low. and the LCD pin will bring it low so we can write to the LCD and the opposite for reading. Okay, so let's see what else we need to do. We need to wait for about 49 nanoseconds. So I'll just put an arbitrary, each one of these will have to have that. This is where things get repetitive, but let's go ahead and see what happens. We'll use 40,000. We'll just do a copy and paste to each one. You can already see where I'd have to change all of these if we were going to automatically scale everything down to more appropriate time delays. So maybe what I'll do is I'll set a, what is this one called anyway? What would I call that? Well, we're gonna turn on the enable anyway, so so we can we can put both the time delay and the enable in there. So let's just call that enable. Enable LCD. We don't need a, yeah, actually we can put the time delay in here. It really doesn't hurt. So we'll pull this time delay into that location. Take all the time delays out of here. And we're going to turn on the enable. So send a bit. We're gonna turn the enable on in this case and replace the time delay. Okay, so now we can enable the LCD here at the end of each one and use the 40,000. Yeah, no, we can't do that. So we're gonna take the time delay out of this, put the 40,000 here, or we can bring it up here. Let's do the time delay up here actually. So let's define time delay before enable and we'll call that 40,000. Let's save just to make sure. Okay, there we go. So now we can just change change it in the defines. We should do the same thing to the 80,000 here. So what would you call that one? That one is between the output byte and turn off the enable. So let's say disable. So time delay before disable. So let's change that. There we go. Okay, let's finish up. So we're gonna just enable LCD. And we'll just do a copy and paste in each one of these. Okay, so now we can, 
if we're going to send a character, we, we may not want to call this sending a character. We can send a character or a command. So we'll just call this or command. And we're going to have to replace the one that we have in the main. Yeah, that might work. On second thought, I really don't want to do that because what we're really doing here is just sending a byte. And I don't want to make it any more complex than that. So I'm going to call this send a byte. Send a byte. Because that could be a command or a character. And we'll make a couple more send a character and a send a command. This can probably be cleaned up later on. So sending a character, we're going to have to pass in a character. So it's going to be a car character. And we'll put it into the right mode, set to right. You know, setting to right, I'm going to say set LCD to right. Because I might have some other set to right somewhere else. And LCD command mode and LCD character mode. You know, if I start them with LCD, that might be a better way to to find things later on. So LCD set to write, LCD set to read, and every time I put in LCD, it'll give me all the character, all the commands nicely. All right, so LCD, and this can stay the same because I'm really just sending the bits to the ports and pins, so it's not really specifically for the LCD. Okay, so we have to put LCD there. And in the main, we have to put LCD here. I might be missing some things, but we'll find out when we do the build. Okay, so we're setting it to write mode. And then we're setting LCD. Now we can look for the one we want. And we're putting it into character mode. And now we're going to send a byte. And it will be the character. So LCD send a character will be the main sending the character to the LCD. And I want this at the bottom because I think it makes more sense for my more major, the ones that would be going into the main.c to be on the bottom. And the more basic, specific only to the LCD should be at the top. So when we run this, this should actually be, the LCD should not be lit up. The read write should not be lit up and the register select will be lit up. You know, why am I, I'm not going to be enabling the LCD after the read write, because it's doing that in the command, command or character, because I want to just write it and then set the, set the command or character, and then I'm going to delay after that. I'm wondering if the delay should be actually over here. That makes more sense. So this is where I'm enabling it. So I'm setting the read write, setting the character, enabling it with the time delay, and then I'm sending the byte, and then disabling at the same time within this. So we are setting the read write, setting the character mode, enabling the LCD, sending the byte to the data pins, and then also disabling the LCD at the same time. Let's put the LCD in the front. LCD. All right, I'm going to do a, a build just to see if I have everything correct. I, I'm expecting to get errors because, yeah, too few arguments. So sending a byte to the LCD data pins. We have a character here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. And actually, I'm not going to be putting this one here anyway. I'm going to be doing L send an LCD character. I'm going to use the A like we did before. We can remove this one. So we're just doing LCD send a character. 